Well, my friends, only question, if you know the answers, you raise your hands. I'm not going to take any thousand answers. It's not going to work. Where are you going to go? Baba, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Let me put it in a document. If you're bad, go to Judah. Question number one. How many brothers did you surpass? Huh? Eleven? Eleven? Ten? How many brothers did you surpass? Huh? Twelve? Huh? How many brothers did you have? Huh? Seven? How many brothers did you have? Huh? You have one brother? The same mother, and eh? All together, he had how many brothers? You were right. Eleven. Eleven. I'm just checking if you guys are. Of course, you have eleven. And then you have was twelve. And uh, what is the evidence he had eleven brothers from the Quran? When he saw the dream, he told his father, Umi Ra'aytu, Ahad Ashara Tawqaba. I saw eleven stars and the sun. So that means five, and that includes him. So that not include him, so it's number 12. So all together there were 12. Who said 12? Did you say 12 or 11? I'm saying the answer. Did you say 12 or 11? All right, give me my troubles back and forth. Who said 12? Anyway, so the whoever said 12 first. This 12 is not 11. He is 11, and he is 12. But because I'm nice, because I'm nice, uh, this, so I gave that to you, but I give you. How many brothers are together with your 12? How many brothers did you surpass? Oh, 11. Give me my chocolate back. How many? Give me my chocolate back. He has 11. Now, oh, 11. And he is 12. So you're right and wrong. No, he's right. He has 11 brothers. How many hardships did you to go to? Don't go there, Rami. Don't go and never. How many hardships? I've mentioned all of them. How many hardships did you just have to go through? And I want all the hardships. And Yemen is on the house tonight. And Yemen is on the house tonight. Yalla bismillah. How many? You know, he seems like he ate from Afri and then he just came. Mister, he just ate the Australian team. Okay, how many hardships? Are there 10 hardships? 10 hardships. The first one's brother taken in agony. Look, look here. The first one's brother taken in agony. Second will be, um, second will be uh, left at an early age, um, maybe at an early age. Third will be thrown into the pit. Fourth one will be slavery. Fifth will be lust and temptation. Sixth. Uh, six will be um um uh, six will be prison. Uh-huh. Seventh will be um so will be accusation and honor. Uh-huh. Seventh will be constant very hardship. I can't that right. Uh-huh. Constant very hardship. Uh-huh. Uh, and then and then and then next will be power. And the last will be forgiveness. Oh, Akbar! Akbar! Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Did I give you anything? No, I just wanted to hear that. I'll give you the ladder. For you and for Abu, when you find the fuck, Abu, when you find the fuck, Greek Nilado, so that means you have four legs, uh, or dress with twice, or stand with Peter, or rock with twice. How many are your family? Six. Never ask, never ask the Yemeni family, how many are you? Yeah, I mean, I say, it was a new thing. Eleven. Never ask him any how many ones. How many seven? What? It's me. Salata. Rabha. Mansa. Sita. Sabha. Yes, seven. Seven. What is the problem? That's a lie. Hi. Seven. Thank you. Why did the father want you to smoke the third degree? Aha! Uh-huh. Is that what she said? The brother's cheating and the end of the brother's plot. Did you say that? Is that what you meant with the ending? No problem. Now, this is why the father. What you saying, the father? What you saying, the father? The father. What, what is he saying? What is he saying? 
‫הוכיחו את הפועל. ‫יעקב, יעקב, ‫הרי הוא קרא. ‫יאללה. ‫יאללה. ‫תודה לתפילה. ‫תן לי. ‫מה הם הסיבות של פייטן? ‫מה הם הסיבות של פייטן?
Because he was in he was born in Palestine. And then they took him as slave in Egypt because he turned into a slave. Why did he go back to Palestine? Hmm. Hmm. Why? Why? Anyway. No. Huh? His brother's what? No. Are you what? No. He was a slave. He was a slave. He had been killed right away. Are you what? Are you what? Why did he go back in front? That's the question. Why did he go back in front? Hey, what? Huh? Ta'at Muslimin? Ta'at Muslimin? Give me Ta'at Muslimin. Ta'at me, yeah, your business? No, no, no. So, so, hey, what? Huh? Huh? Just go back. Huh? Did he know what he told his brothers? That's nice, but no, wrong. Ooh, ooh, I was going to give you a punch, but you can Because he was young. He was only 12 years old when he was, I'm not going to fuck him, I'm not going to kick him, I'm not going to give you a heart. But, nah, I'm of course, because he was young, he did not know the way back. When he was thrown, he was only about 12 years old. So he grew up to be 40 years old. I will give you the evidence why 40 years old. So he did not remember, you know, the way back to the desert, it's not good yet. Home, you reach home, and then he's just going to take you back to Palestine. He did not know the way back. He was the only, he was very young when he was about it, when he was thrown. So this is why he did not go back. Why precisely the truth? So who buys him? Ha! Allah, keep it, yeah, keep it. Right, he just wants to keep it right there. Just remember. Waqada Nabi, Shifna. Where's my, Shifna, what can you read for me? I don't know. Waqada Nabi, Shifna. That's my, that's my, that's my. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال Beautiful boy, you know what's so handsome? They saw him, they loved him. 
عسى ان ينفعنا او نتقي له ولدا. بكل كرامين في هات من بيوت هوت وات او وي مي ادوبت هيم از ا سان وي دونت هاف نو سان سو نوت اون ذا دوست الله دوست تو تيك ان بيت نو 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 الله عز وجل بيكوز ايفنتلي اون ذا هاف ايفنتلي اون ذا هاف الله ميك ات مان فايل في بيوت Just like Musa, when we're going to talk about Musa, Musa had to be raised who was a father of the Lord. Look at the people of Allah. Al-Wakil, Al-Hakil. He has to be, and yeah, you have to not know him. Right? We're well, not going to Musa, and we can not keep him. He has to not know him. Into the, well, into the river, the Nile. And then the Nile, where's the, where's the, where's the, where does he go? The father was scared that, you, that you, Musa would be killed by whom? By Fir'aun. He goes where? He goes to Fir'aun. For a reason only known to Allah, not known to the mother at the time. He had to grow up in the, in the palace to learn about the Fir'aun, to learn about the palace, to learn about the mistress, but eventually he will come back to the same place and to be Fir'aun. He is Yusuf Alayhi Salaam. Something quite similar right here. Now, he grew up in the palace to learn from the man who is the minister of my life. Later on, he will come and take his position, you will see. So, it's all planned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu alimu bima ya'maloon. Allah knows what they're doing. It's all being orchestrated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You look at this, wow, the skin is in boy, something happens. And how can we learn, and what do we learn from this? Sometimes when something happens to you, it's always there, and it's my coming. Maybe your sisters or your brothers, you may not know. Maybe you see difficult. Why our daughter left home? Why our son left home? Why did this happen? Why did I get picked up from work? Maybe they no, 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 no. I'm not going to say maybe. There is fear that every year happens. You may not see it at that time, but there is good in every year that happens. Huh? So, Allah has told you that what is. And then, and then, and then, وَلَمَّا بَلَغَ أَشُدَّهُ آتَيْنَاهُ حُكْمَهُ وَعِلْمًا Here is a beautiful thing. This is a little bit healthy right here. Help me with silence and give me your heart. Guys, boys, girls, give me your heart, not your ear. I was in here, and when he reached maturity, what is maturity in the Arab? What is, huh? In the back, he said this. What is it? Four years old? Oh, yeah. And then when he's 14 years old, four years old, he becomes mature. This is why women do not like marry a four year old boy. 14. What is the evidence that 14 is maturity for men? This is why most men, when they reach 14, they'll be like 15 half. It's time for a. Uh, it's time for a. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, let me go back to my father. What is the evidence that 40 is maturity? From the Quran, from the Quran, Allah says, in what, you know, with Musa alayhi salam, فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَ أَشْتَهُ وَبَلَغَ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً We think about Musa, when he reached his maturity, and he, and he reached 40 years old. So when a man, but it says, it says, in other words, when you're, you're, if your husband is just at 40 years old, you still marry a kid. With all this stuff. When your husband reaches 40, you become a girl. Then you're special. Huh? 40 years old. So Allah is going to say here, When a man is going to say to him, When he reaches his mature, his manhood, manhood, 40, 1,050, he's 40 years old, and now he wants to get married. And he wants to go to Jordan. He says that his manhood, his manhood, he's 40 years old. And the ultimate trust, he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and what he, he teaches him the interpretation of dreams. When he reaches 40, now that means when Allah is going to start teaching him about the interpretation of dreams. What does that have to do with the name of Allah and what he, where is the connection? What is the connection? Yeah, but I why at that very particular time now he understands the interpretations of a film that we don't film? I say now he took no more anima. What can that be? Can that be seen? A Muslim took no sickness means wisdom. You would see 
why Allah will teach him wisdom, and then talking about the ilm. The ilm also, you need, you know, to lead, you need to have control of knowledge, control of ilm. He will need both to become the minister of one and the other one. So, one of the sisters, what's going to be the answer to that question? Why, why, why? About, I feel, why am I doing it now? At this particular time, he's teaching him about the thing of me on dreams. What's going to happen very soon? Very soon, he was going to be thrown in jail, and somebody's going to make a kind of dream, and then you will surrender when he commits a dream, and then later on, when that guy who's doing what he committed will be kicked out, you know, left out from jail, or left out from jail, and then he will hear about the thing. Look at how the steps are going. Sometimes you want something and you want it now. But Allah has to be patient. Be patient. Be patient. He has to stay more than seven years in jail. I will give you the evidence. More than seven years to learn more. So that people trust him as well. So that when the speaker will have his dream and nobody will be able to interpret the dream, the God will say, I know. And then Yusuf will come out. I will ask you the same question. Why? Why Yusuf Ali said that when he interpreted the dream of the king, he can say, Hala, either I, you take me out of jail, or I will not interpret the dream. Now you can see that, do that, Ali said that. You will see why that happens. So here, because Allah is the earlier of what, excuse me, of what to come. Somebody can have a dream, and you need someone to interpret the dream. So Allah is teaching him this. Because of all the suffering, Allah takes something away from you, he says, brothers, here's the conclusion. Allah may close the door. Allah may keep something away from you, but stop it. Allah will replace it, but he goes one door, he will take up from the other. Well, that is the problem. Something may be taken away from you, but Allah will replace it with something more. It's always the same thing for you. It's the same thing. It's what you have to do. And what you think is this is not the end. Wisdom, I will give you. Hikmah, yeah, hikmah, and, and you can also hikmah, I'm of the deen, and knowledge, I'm of the dunya. I'm of the deen, and I'm of the dunya. He will need them, later on, when he sees the minister of finance, he goes, goes up in his palace, in his mansion. He is wrong, he's not doing things right. So when he would interpret the dream for the king, he would tell him, make me the trustee. That guy does not do a good job, I'm a better than him. The end of the dunya. I'm the end of the dunya, and I'm also the end of the dunya. What's going to happen with the end of the dunya? Yeah, the discussion is going to happen later on. They're going to connect him back with his brothers. Some problem is going to happen. Let's take a look at the end of the summer. It's beautiful, of course, slowly. Yes, sir. So let's go back here to the view. Are we going to do this? And then we're going to move on. I'm going to bring Yusuf. We know Yusuf. He's not here today. I'm going to bring the beautiful. We know Yusuf. I say Yusuf today. I say Yusuf. And you are the bad girl. You're the bad girl. And you're the good boy. All right? You're the good boy. Have you not? Okay, this is, this is, no, watch me, I'm 
not just creating a view for you, right? So that you can understand the story of this guy. So this, this woman right here, she's married to this guy. Okay, sister, sister, why? There's something happening here. The sister should know. And also maybe the brothers, but the wife should know. Why would a woman sometimes, although she's married, she can be looking at, you know, at building a relationship on us with somebody else, although she's married? What is missing in her life, you think? What? Huh? Meditation? Huh? Meditation. Everyone can mention that meditation. Maybe she has any meditation that she might have. Huh? Attention. Ah, attention. Ah, attention. Maybe five of her attention. Is it enough? It's full attention. Is it enough? What do you think of it? Is it enough? Who's giving her attention now? Why is she still looking for this guy right here? Ah, she has got. Ha, ha, ha. Five. He has a five. She raised him, and now he's big. Now he's old enough. He's 40 years old. Right, he's 40 years old. But he wants to sit here, Joseph. What's wrong with his guy? But then instead of him, he wants this guy. Why? There's something wrong with this guy. Maybe this guy's not doing his job as a, as a, as a, as a husband. But there's attention. Maybe this guy here is busy with... I can't do it for you. Just wait. Maybe this guy right here, uh, what is he doing? He's so busy with finance, with money, with stock, with bonds, with, you know, Tijala, Tijala, Tijala. And he's here, you know, with all the makeup, with everything waiting for him. He comes in, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa He's already, he's already, he is going to go back to sleep. All the makeup and the maskara, or the maskara that he did and everything, the guy, he did not pay attention to her. So he needs to feel her asking that there is a voice that he needs to feel. A message for you and I. Because it comes to me as a counselor. Don't ask that. This man, this learning. Because it comes to me as a counselor. Women complaining, not a Muslim women complaining. Complaining, the husband complaining. Women complaining, everybody complaining. So this is very important here for a woman to be looking at the relationship. Well, what is this woman? She has to create a profile with a different name, a different name, a different picture, so she can get away to people in her husband. So her husband is communicating with her on one of her social media, giving her beautiful names, calling her beautiful names, uh, giving her smiles, sending her those uh, emoji talk and uh, emoji emojis and whatnot. And he's happy. He's happy. He knows his name. He's pulling him. So he thinks he's really interested with his woman. He's very good one. And then he comes home, but there's something happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. I was talking about But he is he's just like that. I just wanted to hear something beautiful from him. So what happened here? He wants to sit with him. He wants to sit with him. So what happened? وَقَلَّقَتِ الْأَبْوَابِ عرب عرب What do we say? Close. What do we say? أَقْلِقْ 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 Allah did not say وَأَقْلَقَتِ الْأَبْوَابِ Say this in front. Huh? Say that. That's what I said. Say that in Mubalaha. Say that in Mubalaha. This is in the intention. In the intention for it. He did not only lock one door. The ulama they say he locked maybe seven doors. The door of the the mansion, the gate of her chamber, the gate of the kitchen, whatever. You know, he locked all the doors, all the doors, the father and the father of every door, and then she put all the mascara, she put all the makeup and all the little mouth stuff, and then she came to him. What kind of time that? وَقَالَتْ حَيْتَلَ Then when she comes with all your name, and then she says, I'm all yours, say that. And I'm all yours. I'm all yours. Yusuf, I think he's going to ask you some very important questions right here. You know, as to why Yusuf, I think he's going to ask you some very important questions right here. You know, as to why Yusuf, I think he's going to ask you some very important questions right here. So she says, I am حَيْتَلَ I'm all yours, oh Yusuf. Yo, yo. Whatever, you know, the nickname Yusuf, yo, yo, I mean, you may be strong. 
I'm all here, but you have forgotten who's the man. Why is 